Do you fall from tariqat? No, you don't fall from tariqat. Is adab the first rule? Yes, it is. Adab is the first rule. Adab, in reality, it is the only rule. If you have adab, that means you know yourself and you know your Lord. Once you know yourself and you know your Lord, what else is there? What other kind of knowledge is there? Because now you have fulfilled the reason of your creation. Your creation, the reason why you have been created is to know Allah and to worship Him. Prophet is saying, the man who knows himself, he knows his Lord. If you know yourself and you know your Lord, it's only that time when you will be able to worship Him. So, what happens when you lose your adab? Good question that you're asking. It does not mean that you lose, you fall from tariqat. Uh, it means you have lost a lot. Shaitan lost his manners to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Does that mean Allah is saying now, Shaitan, you are forever out of my sight and forever you're going to go to the Jahannam? Hmm. Like what Holy Prophet Allah said to us, Allah, Ashaf, and he is saying, Musa salam, one time, he was traveling and he was going up to the mountain of Tur to speak to his Lord. On the way there, he met Shaitan. And Shaitan turned to Musa and says, Ya Musa, Hazrat Musa salam, look at him and says, Your Lord is not just. That Musa is saying, you're saying that my Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is not just. He says, yes. What is the reason that you are saying that, O Melun? Shaitan is saying, because I did, for me, what did Shaitan do? Allah is saying to me, to do. And I didn't. And Allah is not forgiving me. Adam alayhi salam, Allah is saying, don't do, and he did. But Allah is forgiving him. Why is that? Because as you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying to shaitan, saying to all of creation really, and to all the malaikat, Make sajda to Adam alayhi salam. Allah is saying, make sajda. Shaitan is saying, no, I'm not going to make sajda. I'm only going to make sajda to you, not to Adam. That is shirk. <laughs> so many of them, they're saying now. Exactly what Shaitan is saying. And I made a mistake. Shaitan is saying. Adam alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, don't eat from the forbidden fruit. But he did. And... He is forgiven. He made mistake. I made mistake. Both of us make mistake. Why am I not forgiven? And he is forgiven. He is not just. Hazrat Musa sat down, started thinking, and says, This is shaitan. But he has a point. Shaitan is saying, Go and ask your Lord next time you speak to him. So Hazrat Musa, Kalimullah. Went up and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya Musa, what is happening? You are different today. And Musa is saying, Ya Rab, you know. I was coming up here and Shaitan stopped me and saying that you are not just because he did mistake. Adam alayhi salam did mistake. But Adam alayhi salam, you forgive. And Shaitan, you are not forgiving. And I cannot come up with an answer, Ya Rabbi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya Musa, when you go back down, tell him this. It is easy. Say to him, my Lord is most just. If you want to be forgiven, you know where Adam alayhi salam is buried. Go to his tomb. Just make one search there. And everything that he has done, I will forgive. 
Hazrat Musa came down and saying, Ya Malun, my Lord is most just. He is saying to me, if you want to be forgiven, find the grave, the mazar of Adam alayhi salam. Make one sajda to him. And you will be forgiven. Shaitan started laughing. <laughs> He's saying, I did not make sajda to him when he is alive. You think now I'm going to make sajda to his dead bones? <laughs> From that time, he becomes more shaitan. Yeah. So, he lost his manners. We're talking about manners, correct? Yes. Now manners, it is everything. If you lost it, it doesn't mean that now you're not going to be forgiven. But you must ask for forgiveness. Not only just ask for forgiveness, you made a mess, clean it up. Don't say, I made a mess, I'm sorry, American style. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, baby, come here. That's all they say. You made a mess, clean it up. Who is going to clean it up now? You must clean it up. You must find a way to clean it up. You must pay. You did something, pay. Not just by word. So, in Islam, in tariqat is more than that. You lost now you must try to find it back. You must bend over backwards. Now you must go uh, so much to extreme now. Someone doesn't want to forgive you, you must beg. Because now you're the one who did wrong. So adept, it is the soul of Islam. It is the spirit. It is the most important thing. Tariqat. I was just reading one sohbet of Shema of the Shaykh and he about Adab. Tarikats in the Dargah are supposed to have a lot of them. We're going to put more here too. Adab, Yahoo, Adab, Yahoo, Adab, Yahoo. They're treating Adab, Yahoo like it is Ayat. It, like it is Ayat of Karima. It is. Because now, if you lose your Adab, you lose everything. But the man who does not have a single piece of knowledge, if he has Adab, that one will be under direct protection of the awliyas and the saints of Allah because they love that one. This one, he has Adam. Everything led it to open for him. Those ones, they have the power, yes. They have the power of what? They have the power of kun fayakun. They can make it happen. Very easy. It's not difficult. Allah has given the authority of this whole world, not this, this one planet here, of the alams to man. Which man? Rijalullah. Which Rijal Allah, which man of Allah? Awliya Allah. Those ones who have finished themselves and they've drowned in his ocean and they are representing Allah. They have fulfilled their reason of creation which is to be Khalifatullah. Now Allah is saying, you will represent me. <laughs> that, is, that invitation is open for everyone, for all of us. How merciful our Lord is. How merciful our Prophet is. Yeah. It is not, Tariqat is not an exclusive club. They say you cannot enter, you can No. Opening the doors from east to west, especially the Naqshbandi Tariqat, to enter, the doors are open from east to west. But to leave, you will not even find a pinhole to leave, a needle hole to leave. They're going to trap you. <laughs> they trap you and they bring you to paradise, don't worry. So if you lose your manners, run to that one that you have lost your manners to. Ask for forgiveness and clean up your mess. And if that one is knowing too, that one is not emotional, it's going to say, of course I forgive you. I have already forgive you. The minute, wallahi, the minute you did it, I forgive you. But you made a mess now. I'm not going to clean it up. You clean it up. Not only you must clean up, but now you must go to extreme now. Okay, to get back, to get more credit. No. Then that's the time when that one is going to look and say, okay, no, it's okay, you're all right. Inshallah, Rahman, may we never lose our manners in front of our Shaykh, in front of the beloved ones of Allah.